So we are going to talk here about hypotheses and how you write a good hypothesis in your lab report. So you need to know that there's a format, and this format is the best format that you can place that there's no chances of you getting any points off. So if and then. It's very simple. There is different ways of writing a hypothesis. It doesn't have to be if and then, but I sell, this is the easiest way for students to get it right and not mess out in the way they're writing their hypothesis. Because I have seen students write a hypothesis that looks like a paragraph and it's a killer because we're in the middle of the process. We're trying to find where it is. But the if and then keeps it clear and straight to the point. So the if, you will have the independent variable and then... After the then, you put the dependent variable. So if the temperature increase, then the rate of enzymes will go faster. If the pHs are increased, then the flower will change color to a blue. Something. So it's if independent, then the dependent. That's how you write a hypothesis. Of course, there is a topic about the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. Do it, does it have to be that way? No, it does not. It really doesn't. It just can be the if and then. If you want to do the new hypothesis, which you give the if and then, and if it's not this one, then it's the alternative, which is another type of hypothesis, you can do that too. But it's not a requirement in IB. The if and then is good enough. One hypothesis is good. But what if I have many hypotheses? It's also good. But again, try to stick as much as you can to as minimal hypothesis because it makes it easier for you to express them and explain them when you get to the conclusion section. So whenever you have hypothesis, the if and then, Students usually forget to put the because. The because is the scientific information. Like, why did you come up with the if and then? Why? What is the logic? Why do you think that the temperature, by increasing the temperature, will increase the rate of, of a reaction of an enzyme? That's the because. You have to explain it. So, and of course, obviously, the explanation has to be scientific. The chemistry, biology, or physics most likely stick to the biology because this is a biology lab report. But it can have a little bit of chemistry in there, but the biology has to be answered here. When you do this, be sure to put the in-text citation at the end because it's a biological information that you're explaining. But that information is coming from a book, from an article. It's not coming from you. Okay? So here is an example. If the amount of fertilized on grass plants increase then the grass plant will grow taller because plants will have more nutrients to grow taller, provided by a higher amount of fertilizer. That's a happier, much explanation to go. Although this is a very, you know, generalized explanation, you can go more detailed. Next one says, if leaves are exposed to low temperature, then the leaves will change color because the plant stops making chlorophyll. See, it's already explaining in more details the biological side of it. Now, is this enough explanation? Yes, it is. But I will still advise you to go a little bit more explaining the details of biology. And that usually will be in your topic, topic three, topic four, whatever it is, the topic that you're talking about. So this is it for the hypothesis section. Now, get ready for the next video where I will talk about the independent dependent variables and how to use them. See you on the next video. And remember, with an ARB, you can get that seven. See ya.